Battlegrounds team, welcome to the first video of creating the Battlegrounds. So in this video we will go through the basics of creating the first part of just a shell. Um, so for that we will be using Fusion 360. Um, we'll be using a couple of different uh, things. Uh, so the first one is we're going to create a sketch. Um, so up on the right hand corner we can see the front top, front and right plane here. Uh, so we want to create our sketch on our right plane, which is this one here. So as you can see, that's now changed to the right plane. So that's how we're viewing everything. Alright, so we want to just draw a line. So if you hold down your scroll button, you'll be able to move around. So we want to have this line about 100 mil. And then we want to go up approximately to 34 mil. Yeah, this one here. We want to go up 30. We want to be the same height as this one here. But we also want to have a wedge in front of our bot. So the degrees here, we want to be sitting at about 50 degrees. So I get as close as you can to 50 degrees. And now we'll just continue this line over here. Alright, so see how that's changed to cream so that we know that's a enclosed area. Alright, so if we go to extrude now, we can extrude, we need to select a profile, select this one, and then if we just type uh, 55 in, that's how wide our body needs to be. Alright, so now to rotate like that, you simply hold the shift key down and your scroll button down. Alright, so the next step that we want to make is we would like to create a curved front edge here. And to do that, um, if we click on this right box, it'll square everything. We want to sketch on this plane here. So now that we see that's gone blue, we will sketch here. Now from this point here, we want to come across to about here, about six, six and a half mil. It doesn't necessarily matter too much. Because uh, everyone's will be slightly different. Right, but now we want to just go straight down right, to the bottom. Yep. Alright, cool. Now this line here isn't really essential. So what we can do is we can use a trim tool. We can get rid of that line. Alright, now if we go create. And we want to revolve this pattern here. So now we have a profile and an axis that we need to select. So we select this profile here. And the axis is this line here. Right. We select that. All right. So now, if we hold our shift key and spin it around, we can see that it's now revolved around that point there. So what we want is we only want it to revolve to this point here. So, what we can do is we can change the degrees to 90. And then you can see that it only comes around to that point now. So, you push OK. And then that's done. So, what we want to do is we want to do the other side the same. All right. Now, to help you see where that line is on the other side, because we can't see it. Down here we can go display, visual style, and shaded with hidden edges, and that'll bring out that line there. Alright, so what that line that is doing is showing us the line on the other side. So now we go sketch, we'll sketch on this. So we want to sketch a line straight down here. Go create, revolve. Right, select the axis. 
Uh, and what it's automatically done is it's automatically made it 90 degrees. So it's guessed that that's what we wanted. Alright, we'll push OK. Alright, so we're starting to get somewhere. Alright, now what we want to do is we want to extrude these sides here slightly out. So instead of zooming down and drawing a triangle around them, what we can do is we can just click on them, hold shift, click on both of them, go create, extrude. You get a little arrow that comes up. You can actually just grab that arrow and you can just drag that arrow to your desired length there. Alright, so I'm just going to drag it about eight, seven odd mils. Well, no, it'll be fine. And then just click OK. Alright. So the next step we want to do is because this is one solid piece, we want to cut out all of this inside here. So the way we can do that is very simple. You want to click on this top plane, this top, and you go modify and shell. Alright, so we can read here what it does. We go shell here, and then it'll ask us our inside thickness. So we want to have about 2 mil. So if we just type in 2 there, and then we push enter, now it's shelled out um, battle bot. So now you can see it's starting to look like a battle bot. Uh, so the next video is we will cover um, putting in wheel mounts and uh, putting in some solid supports to help structure this here.